Baldur's Gate 3, the spectacular RPG, is now playable on Apple M1. So today, we're going to look at how it's performing. On screen, you can see the specs of our Apple M1 machines, which are used in this video. Elvarels have shared with me what settings to run the game on your Apple M1 machine. Pause the video now if you wish to configure your M1 Mac. Before Apple M1, Baldur's Gate 3 required a Mac with a 4GB or better dedicated graphics card to run well. You would never get this game to run on an Intel MacBook Air or a Mac Mini. And while it's supported on 13-inch MacBook Pros back to 2018, those Intel machines really struggled to play the game even at 720p and the lowest quality preset. Well, with Apple M1 machines, this has all changed. For the past two weeks, Larion Studios, the Apple Metal engineering team, and Elvarels have collaborated to get the game working on Apple M1 based machines. It's important to note, don't expect 4K 60fps gameplay. That's not what these machines are for. But what we have here is playable and shows the future of AAA gaming on ARM architecture and that the jump from Intel to Apple Silicon was definitely the right choice for Apple. Currently, the game does not have native M1 support, ARM64. That is coming right around the corner. Instead, at the moment, it is fully M1 Rosetta 2 compliant. I used Terminal to look at the game's files, and as you can see on screen, it's actually not using the same binary as x86-64. It has tons of M1 specific optimizations. Our real curiosity though is how much will native support improve performance over Rosetta? Will it be drastically or just a bit? Time will tell. By default, Elvarels have enabled triple buffering vSync to avoid screen tearing and a frame rate cap of 30. If we turned off vSync and the FPS cap, we don't get much over 30 FPS anyway. So all this was done to provide the smoothest frame rate possible for your M1 machine. So Elvarels are trying their best to target 30 FPS for this game, however, it does buffer from time to time. This mostly occurred during the tutorial section, character creation, when the game autosaves, when cutscenes end, or when lots of effects happen on screen. That said, in regards to combat, we found that the frame rate is actually more consistent during these scenes than when you are just walking around environments, which was strange. Again, it will be very interesting to see if M1 support will improve the frame rate. Yes, 60 FPS would be nice in the future. However, for me, this RPG game doesn't really suffer from a lower frame rate compared to something more fast paced, like a first person shooter. Still, if anything, let's hope in the next patch, the game can target 30 FPS at all times. If you've watched my previous Apple M1 videos, you would have seen that there has almost been no difference between having 8GB or 16GB of memory for gaming. Well, since Baldur's Gate 3 has official M1 Rosetta 2 support, it properly utilizes memory on Apple M1. For example, having 16 gigabytes on MacBook Pro and Mac Mini allows you to play at the ultra quality preset. Amazing. For Mac Mini, you will have to lower the resolution to 900p to achieve an ultra preset, or you can play at medium at 1080p. For MacBook Pros or Mac Minis with 8GB of memory, you can still set the preset to Ultra, but then you will have to put textures and distance to medium. 
four MacBook Airs, the upgraded memory and GPU make no difference right now. So you are best to play on the default settings. We tested the MacBook Air on the high preset and we got 18 to 20 FPS. I imagine this performance will improve over time, but it's not bad. I also tested the 13 inch MacBook Pro at the medium quality preset and the frame rate was pretty much exactly the same. And then I tested it on low and again it was pretty much the same. Please note Baldur's Gate 3 takes forever to verify and launch initially. It's around 3 to 5 minutes and loading times are still quite long as seen on the Intel Mac version. There are also some bugs across Apple Silicon and Intel Macs, however, this has nothing to do with the Mac performance as it's strictly related to early access. But I thought I should point out all of that if you are considering buying the game on your Mac. Anyway, what do you think of Baldur's Gate 3 on Mac? Are you impressed or disappointed? One thing that we can agree on is that this is a major, 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 major improvement from what we could achieve on low-end Intel Max. I mean, whoa. It's like the biggest jump in technology that I've seen on Mac in a very, very long time. Leave a like to show your support and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple gaming related. My name's Stewie and thank you so, so much for watching. I love these Apple M1 videos, they're just really exciting.